Well, it's movie time again. So, uh, this one we're gonna see at the Regal, over here. And, uh, this movie's called Fear. It looks like it's gonna be the scary movie. Uh, I didn't see any trailers for this, so I have no idea what's going on. But, when I get back in the car, I'll tell you all about it. Man. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do. As a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. Fear. That's the name of this one. And, uh, it is like a scary movie. It's, uh, they didn't quite execute it the way I think they were hoping. Uh, it's not the worst movie. I've ever seen, but there's lots of things about it that uh, that didn't really work right, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, so just uh, there's some real bad like tentacle and like liquid swarm CGI that ends up happening, and uh, that that wasn't that great. <laughs> That was pretty bad, actually. And it's too bad because it looked like there was some cool makeup effects going on underneath all the mess that they were... I don't know what they were doing. Why? <laughs> Seems like an afterthought, maybe. But, uh, yeah, another thing that didn't work out is uh, this movie is obviously a inspired by the pandemic movie. There's all these masks. They started talking about uh, the whole... So, this is like a year too late, at least. <laughs> if they would have, if they would have released this like, like even like last year, I think it would have been it would have hit better. But they're they're all this this is full blown. They talk about COVID a lot, you know. And then it's like, so this guy. And this girl and their friends, you know, they all go to this cabin. It's her birthday. He's trying to get research on weird old-timey hotels and stuff because he's a writer of, like, scary books or something. And so so they go there, and they're all like, oh, we quarantined before we came. You know, we all got tested, you know. So it's like, this is obviously... They're full blown, still afraid of, of pandemic stuff in this movie, and uh, <laughs> it was just out of place because it's like, yeah, people are kind of over that now. At least, at least where I live, you know, I still wear my masks if I'm going in a busy place, but I'm like the only one. <laughs> but there's a. Uh, Really, I just like the feel of the compression on my face. But anyway. Yeah, so, and like, one of the people's like coughing, they're like, I don't think he actually got tested. I think he's sick. You know, and everybody's freaking out. One of the girls has asthma, you know. One of the girls is a nurse. That sort of thing. And then they see like a news report there's a new airborne virus. It's even worse than the last thing. It's just out in the open air, or out in nature. So you got to stay inside your house, and close all the windows. You know, they're like ah, and they're like, and one of the symptoms is it makes you paranoid. So they're all they're all like turning on each other and sort of thing. It's that kind of movie. But uh, yeah, this movie also has uh. I, I guess it, this is a Christian movie. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, yeah, one of the girls has a religious studies, you know, degree. And comes in handy. So, <laughs> but there's, there's lots of weird things going on in this movie where it's like, okay, so is it just, I just think there would be there's better ways. This is like two different movies thrown into one, two or three different movies squished into one thing. So, and they all have this the same basic 
idea about fear. But it's like, okay, so there's like this whole Native American magic angle to the movie. There's the whole grounded in reality. You know, people being paranoid because of the pandemic. You know, and and stuck in a hotel movie. And then, you know, there's like the weird uh, religious angle to the movie. And it's like, these all could have been three different movies, you know? And they probably would have been better off for it. <laughs> also, I mean, nothing against everyone, all the actors and actresses. They did a fine job with what they had to, to work with here. But the main male guy, the white guy, I didn't buy that he was with this girl. I didn't buy that he grew up with these other guys, you know? <laughs> he did not look the part. He did not really act the part. <laughs> so, he just seemed out of place to me. So, was, uh, there's all these different things uh, that worked against the movie. Some of, some of it was pretty effective. And then other stuff, it just looked like it's... It's not that scary just to put like a a fuzzy looking filter on the camera and make the lighting weird. It's like, and get the camera real close to someone's face. It's like, you gotta do better than this, you know? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do more. Lots of weird angles. Lots of the camera just being sideways and everything. And it's like, like Dutch angles and stuff like that it's supposed to, like, tell a story. Like, so, so there's sometimes where they do something to be like, what's the purpose of this? You know, it's supposed to increase the, the, the awkwardness, you know, the tension in the audience member to be like, things are askew, you know, that, that, but it's like, well, what, the world's just sideways as we walk down the stairs for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God, this doesn't make any sense. You know, there, there needs to be a reason for your odd angles, you know. What are you, what are you trying to say here? But. So those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing fear. I was very feared. That's not true. It wasn't very good. So I'm going to throw these thoughts and opinions up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They'll soon be buried by everybody else's. But, uh, yeah, tell me what you thought about the movie. Down in the comments. Like the the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications, all that sort of thing, you know. And in general, you know, don't forget to feed your cat and wipe front to back, not side to side, all those important life lessons. <laughs>